Hello everybody, we're back. Let's get into it. Mass Effect. Here we are. Um. Uh. What happened? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Oh. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. Because I broke it. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. Cool. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't feel bad about Jenkins. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Cool. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. I don't feel bad about Jenkins. I'm not going to say that. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a spectre, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Gith. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. No way, they're gonna think I'm crazy! They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the Beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Are you sure he's the one with the secrets of the Beacon? Because I'm pretty sure it downloaded itself into my brain and then I broke it. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the feeling I'm getting here anyway. I could be way off base and I don't even care. I like speculating. I'll find some way to take him down. 
It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. But I was gonna be a specter. Come on, specter justice and all that nonsense. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Oh, fine. Journal and codex, or something to that effect. Hi, me. Investigate and stuff. Getting to wander around my ship. When you're beautiful, well, you doors okay, magically open for you. Hey, Caden, what's up? Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. I don't care about Jenkins. <laughs> Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. It doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. Hey, you helped too, man. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. I need to go see Joker. Sure thing, Commander. I just don't want to tell him that, like, Hey, I miss Jenkins. No, I don't. I yes, don't Commander? Care. Is there something you need? I don't care about Jenkins. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Good on you. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Oh. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. That's good, except he wants me to go and essentially tell the Alliance, Hey, guess what? I'm crazy. And I don't want to tell them that at all. How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Wow. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. Huh? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Right. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Oh no! He's like my buddy. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I hope he just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Hey, Ash, what's up? I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. People die. When your number comes up, it's over. His did. Do you really believe that, Commander? After what happened to you in a coos? Are you saying you only survived because of random chance? No. I survived because I refused to die. With respect, sir, I think you had somebody watching over you. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. Congratulations, Ashley. We can be buddies because we both lost our entire units. <laughs> we couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. 
It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. You're welcome, because you're my buddy buddy. Wait, can I talk to Caden about his... Joker's waiting for you on the bridge. No, he's not. No, he's not. I'm ignoring that. I'm ignoring what you just said. Who are these people? Are you of anybody of importance, or are you just filler people on my ship? I mean, the captain's ship. Yeah, that's what I mean. <coughs> captain's ship. I don't want to go to the Whoa. Hey, elevator, what's up? Wee! I don't know where I'm going. Probably the wrong way. Oh, hey, lockers. Change the squad members' equipment, click the locker, and press E. Right, obviously. Okay, and then what's in here? Hey, you guys. Can I talk to you? No? Can I talk to you? Shame about Jenkins, Commander. I don't care about Jenkins. Jenkins is stupid. Jacket sucks. Is this the engine room or something? Warp speed! Talk to the requisition officer to purchase new equipment. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Show me stuff. What is any of this stuff? Oh, there's a compare button. I see. It's expensive. I don't have that kind of money. I can't wear heavy armor. I can't wear light armor. It's expensive. I can't buy any of this. Med increases maximum units of meta gel by one. Yes, please. Bye. We'll buy that because it's cheap. Thank you. Increase meta gel. Hex yeah. And there's his locker. Okay, we're going up. Up we go. Do 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 do. Games need elevator music so bad. Hello, bridge. Are you up these steps? Probably. I'm gonna talk to dear old Joker. Boo-doo. Hey. What's up, peeps? Who are you? You some navigator guy? I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Galaxy map. Losing Jenkins? I don't care about Jenkins. Don't care about Jenkins at all. Everybody's all like, boohoo, Jenkins. And I'm like, I don't even care. You were an other's Joker. Joker, Joker, Joker! I'm obviously gonna cut the video off before I talk to Joker. So, we're gonna save. Bye bam. Alright, so. When we come back, more Mass Effect. Thanks for watching, guys.